Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Last year, I had the pleasure of being a judge at the Eurovision Chicken Contest. And the support that on the show was so good, I've given them their own spot on the show tonight. So please welcome on stage, direct from the Bernard Matthews Farms, the Turkey Trotters, featuring lead dancer, Mr. Michael Cluckley. Is this it? Is this one? 
Oh, that's nice, like magic music. Hello, fellow magicians. Oh, yes, hello. Welcome to the world of Acme Magic, oh. your professional mail-order magic company. 100% oh. genuine. Yeah, that's lovely, isn't this it? This lesson is the mystery of the vanishing bandana. Ooh. For this mystery, you will need two props. Two props, yes. One is a square of darkly colored fabric. Yeah, that's there in the box. And a yellow bandana. Yeah, that's in the... No, that's not... That's not a bandana. Pick up the bandana. Yeah, but it's not a bandana. Now, fold the bandana in half. That's right. Fold it in half. All right. <laughs> now, it fold it one more time. <laughs> Take the folded bandana and hide it in your left hand. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Remember to keep your hand in a natural position. This is called palming. No, it's called a sticky, bloody mess, love. That's what it's called. Now that you have mastered palming, yeah. we're ready to begin. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Open up the folded bandana. You told me to fold the bloody thing up for God's sake. Show the audience it is a regular bandana by waving it up and down. If an audience member does not believe it is a real bandana, allow him to wipe his face on it. All uh, right. Yeah. 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 Now, pick up the dark square of fabric yeah. and gather the four corners together, yeah. making a little makeshift bag. A uh, little makeshift bag. <laughs> Using your free hand, fold the bandana along the creases you made earlier. I haven't got a free bloody hand, right? And drop it into the folds of the fabric makeshift bag. Ah, uh, yes, I see. It is done, my love. <laughs> so what now? From the outside of the makeshift bag, yeah. squeeze the bandana into a small little ball. <laughs> what the audience didn't see is that you never really put the bandana in the fabric at all. You really kept it hidden in your left hand. No, I bloody didn't. Remember palming? Did you tell me to put it in the bag? You didn't say keep it in your hand. Again, you just... remember to keep your left hand held naturally. <laughs> now, make a magical gesture. Yeah, right. <laughs> For the grand finish, yeah. fling open the fabric and receive your well-deserved applause. Oh, oh, look at that! Look at that! That's amazing, isn't it, eh? Okay, now look at this. I told you. It's God's waiting room. Look at this. Get them all in. Look, see? Look. <laughs> I'm going to watch you, you bugger. You try and rip my bloody wig off. No, no, no. <laughs>
But he's got no rabbits with his bum, only hairs. Thank uh, you. Are you filming this job? Um, this is Anne, this is Billy Trevor's daughter. She's a strange lady. She practices witchcraft and kills babies and eats them. But only once a year. <laughs> only once a year. Because we're in Devon. So what do you call a Frenchman walking along a beach with a pair of sandals on? Philippe Philip. So, <laughs> Today we're in Ilfracombe, deepest, darkest Devon, and there's a big mountain behind me. It. Yes, and I'm going to go and climb that mountain, and you're coming with us. I've got my supplies in case I get thirsty up the mountain. See you in a minute. Here we are, just about to climb the mountain in Ilfracombe. This is a famous Ilfracombe mountain, look. That's a wild dog up there. Look at him. See him? It's a man eater, that is. So I'm going to eat a man there then. See that thing there? The two white things there? That's the theatre we're working in tonight. Looks like big Madonna's boobies. Okay, here we go. Off on the mountain trek. Strange thing is, Ilfracombe, this is when my nan and granddad came off. They got married for their honeymoon. See that bit of beach down there? I actually walked on that bit of beach. A lot of people don't know my granddad was in prison for about 30 years for fraud. He actually went inside prison, well, about 30, 40 years ago, I suppose it was. That was just about the time that I stopped, well, I stopped getting birthday cards from Elvis about that time. Must have been my granddad, really, then, mustn't it? See that beach down there? That's where my nan and granddad went after they got married on their honeymoon. And I was actually walking along that bit of beach there, and my nan fell over, and her hands went buried deep into the sand to try and save herself. And when she pulled her hand out of the sand, her wedding ring had come off. Real gold it was. At the time it cost about 12 quid, which is about 60 years ago. It's a lot of money. Lost her wedding ring, two days into being married. My granddad had to get a cheap one for the rest of her life. And then, about 20 years ago, they came back here to relive their honeymoon. They came down, they went for a walk down that beach there again. My nan fell over again. She put her hands out to save herself. They buried deep in the sand to try and save herself. Strange thing was, when she pulled her hand out of the sand, guess what was on the end of her finger? That's right, donkey poop. <laughs> I'm just a love machine, and I won't work for nobody but you, oh! There's a couple of locals up here, see them? You know they're locals because they're going to be playing the banjo in a minute. I'll make you squirt like a pig, boy! Come on, hurry up. Oh, I'm going to make you squirt Look, they're just standing there waiting for us. Mm, he's got his hands in his pockets. He's a busy boy. Mm. Getting a bit knackered. Look. young couple if ever I saw one. <laughs> 